Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Oh, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Blair. Welcome to my beauty space. So for today's video, I want to share with you guys what I got from the Sephora VIP sale. This is only part of it because I still have some items from the mail, but I just don't want to wait any longer. And I already got a lot of stuff because I need to restock up on some of the items I really love. So yeah, I'll just make, you know, a series out of the Sephora sale haul. So yeah, if you want to know what I got from the Sephora VIP sale, just please keep watching. All right, so the first item I got is actually a diffuser. So um, now since I have nowhere else to go but cooped at home, the home scent is so important to me. I love to light candles, but um, I don't light them if I'm not able to be in the same room where I light the candle just for precautious reason. So I just felt like it's a little high maintenance to always have to be in the same room when I light the candle. So when I saw this home ambience diffuser, I'm like, this is perfect. So I got the Velour Spa Spice Goji Truckle Orange, and this is what it looks like. Honestly, I don't really like the packaging, but um, it doesn't really matter because what matters is the scent. So let me open it up for you guys. This is actually my first time using a home diffuser from Velour Spa. I used to use home diffuser from Jo Malone, I really like, but then I switched to candles. But now, since I stay at home all day, I just feel like I need to have like a constant scent in my house. So here, this is um, the bottle looks like, looks so pretty. This kind of reminds me of the newest KKW and Chris um, perfume collaboration just the same kind of you know pattern then you have all the diffuser here so let me open this and smell it on camera with you guys all right so this is the home diffuser looks like i think it looks really nice and the scent is so amazing it literally smells like a berry juice I just love fruity type of scent for my home fragrance just because I don't want like a rosy scent to be all over the place. I think it's a little bit too smothering for my taste. I love a very fresh fruity scent. It just reminds me of like a clean healthy juice. So yeah, this is the first item I got and I'm obsessed. All right, moving out, the second item I got, I'm super excited about because it's a brand new product and it is a way hair care scalp and body scrub. So this is what it looks like. It's a big tub. For me, I always need a scalp scrub because I just have oily scalp. And I am currently using the Christopher Robin hair scrub. I can put a picture here. I don't really like that one despite all the great reviews online. I personally find it to be a little bit too thick and sticky. I just feel like it's not a refreshing kind of a feel. So when I saw um, Sephora carrying this one, I'm like, let me try it because I love Waze hair care products. I literally have this wave spray right on my vanity. This is what I'm like spraying on whenever I just got out of the shower. It looks oily, but it's very, very refreshing. It just gives your hair like a nice shine. And I also really love Way's um, product smell. So this one, let me just smell it and see what it smells like. Mmm, you know what? This smells exactly like the Way perfume called Melrose Place. I'll put a picture here. I personally own that perfume and I hold it in my pink perfume collection. It's a beautiful rosé scent. It's a very high-end rosé scent. It's not aggressive. It's not too strong. It's just really amazing. So now I'm excited because I can, you know, make my hair smell like the rest of my body. Plus, you can use this one as a body scrub. I don't really do body scrubs that much because I don't really have a lot of body acne. So I will mainly use this one as a hair scrub and I am so, so excited about it. 
All right, moving on. Since we're talking about hair products, I have another hair product I got from Olaplex. So this one is a number seven bonding oil. I saw so many people rave about it on YouTube. That's why I decided to purchase it. But honestly, it's pretty small compared with the pictures online. I am pretty surprised to be honest. This one is 30 millimeter. So it's a uh, hair oil and this is what it looks like. So yeah, you really don't get a lot of products. So on the box, it says that this one will boost shine, strength and repair all hair type. So it is formulated with Ola Plus patented bond building chemistry. So this one, I'd assume that it's for like, how to say, like a hair repair oil, but it also strengthens your hair. So I think you can use this one as a hair treatment. That's probably how I am going to use this one because it's so expensive. I just don't feel like I want to use it every single day. So let me at least smell it. This one doesn't have a scent, which is bomb because I know a lot of people they don't like any scented products. So that's nice. Also on the box, it says that this one will reduce frizz and flyaways, will extend color and renew vibrancy, heat protection up to 450 degrees, shortens drying time, soften and detangles UV protection, no residue, color safe, vegan and alcohol free. So yeah, this is a really like great product in terms of multi-purpose. Also the ingredients are great. So yeah, I guess you can just use it for a lot of different reasons. You can use it as like a frizzle control. You can use it when your hair is still dampened and use it as like a heat protection when you dry your hair. You can use it as UV protection when you go outside which, you know, I heard that, you know, outside and direct sunlight can kill viruses. So maybe we should go outside and get some sunlight. But yeah, I am super interested to, you know, test it out and see if this one really make a difference in my hair. All right, moving on. The next item I got is another super hyped up item. For this haul, I'm literally just picking up all the items I wanted in the car that, you know, people rave about. So this one is from Pharmacy. It's the Very Cherry Clean Makeup Melt Cleansing Balm. So this is what it looks like. I like the packaging. I have already used Pharmacy's Green Cleansing Balm in the past. I really, really love it. So when people were saying that, oh, get the cherry one, it's really good. I'm like, yeah, I'm down. I really want to try it. Um, some people got this cherry balm in their boxy charm. I'm so jealous if you're one of them. For me, I didn't have the luck, so I have to get it myself. So here this is, you know, the product looks like it's a big tub. This can last you probably around two months. So that's how long I've been using my green one and I use it every single night and I use it very generously. I use it all over my face as well as drag down my neck. So yeah, this one, I, I just love the green one. So let's just see. Oh, by the way, you have a spatula. That's nice. And once you open up the product here is a pink one wow so cute yeah this one has cherry scent it's a very real cherry scent it's not like a fake you know cherry scent so i like that and yeah texture wise this reminds me a lot of the clinic cleansing balm like it's literally a balm you have to use your finger to melt into your face which i actually enjoy doing that so yeah i cannot wait to use it every single day and if i really like it i will include this one in one of my you know monthly favorites even though i haven't done one in probably three months so maybe i'll do a current favorites what do you guys think and maybe you know i will mention this one if i really like it all right, moving on, the next item I got is a facial mist. This one has been raved about so much by Jaclyn Hill. And say whatever you like about Jaclyn. I feel like her recommendations are actually on point. Every time she recommends something, I end up buying it and I end up liking it. So I trust her opinion when she recommends stuff other than her own product. I know. So I got the Lila B a Glow Face Mist. This is what it looks like. This one is expensive. I think this one retail for $48. So yeah, that's why I waited till, you know, it's on sale to buy it. 
and in the bottle it says that set refresh hydrate the sheer lightweight mist irrigates and enlightens delivering hydration while forfeiting the skin with beneficial botanicals a glow helps to maintain a flawless complexion setting makeup for longer lasting wear brightening dollars with a refreshing dewy glow it is refused with lavender essential oil so yeah let's see here once you open it up it's actually a pretty small bottle the box makes it seem like it's gonna be big but look this is expensive because even with a discount it's close to 40 bucks and what's the size 30 millimeters so yeah it's like one fleet ounce so it's pretty expensive and let me try and see if it's really worth it First impression wise, I don't like this nozzle. I already deduct two points for the nozzle. It's a little too harsh. I feel like if you're, you know, a luxury brand, you're saying that, oh, the mist will give you a luxurious feeling, at least make it smoother. The spritzer is not that smooth, not that delicate. I don't like it. And the scent of it definitely is a lavender scent, which, I mean, I don't hate it, but I'm not like a super fan of. I still think the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray has the best scent. It's literally the best scent I've ever smelled out of all the setting spray. And that one is $15. So yeah, first impression wise, I don't really find it very luxurious and the scent of it is okay but it's not like amazing honestly this kind of smells like the mario Bardescu lavender spray i can put a picture here you can buy a big bottle for like less than 20 bucks so yeah this one i don't know about it so yeah this one in terms of the scent and the bottle i don't like it but in terms of the glow though this is pretty beautiful Okay, I can see why Jaclyn Hill would like it. Once the mist dries down a little bit, I think the glow comes out and it's actually pretty beautiful. Okay, so that's nice. I gave it to this mist for the beautiful glow. But yeah, I still don't think even $40 is too much. I think this, I would pay $25 max. So... Yeah, first impression wise, uh, not the best, but I like the glow. So it really depending on what you are, you know, prioritizing. If you want this glow, I like the glow. But if you want that luxurious spa-like feel and the scent, mm, not so much. So yeah, this is the A Glow Mist from Lila B. Alright, moving on. Speaking of like a glowy complexion, I finally bit the bullet and bought a very expensive foundation. So I got the Kogian Do Aqua Foundation. This is what it looks like. Everybody is raving about it maybe since two years ago. And I almost got it last year, but then I saw the price tag. I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's just too much money. Um, I just put it back but this year I just I don't know it's still on my mind you know what I'm saying it's like something you always always wanted you never get it so I'm like just let me get it so that way I don't have to think about it anymore so I finally got this foundation I got the shade 113 I don't really like the shade range to be honest I think they should do a better job in terms of shade range and they're all numbered and their number is kind of weird so I'm just like why can't you just describe it like you know just describe your color so here this is the foundation looks like first of all this is a plastic packaging which you know i don't mind but this foundation is like 60 something dollars retail so after 20 percent it's like 50 something dollars i would expect at least a glass packaging i'm just saying but let me see just one drop here this is a foundation i guess it's a good color. It's a bit light. You know what? I have some like dew drops that can darken the foundation. So it doesn't really bother me that much. Even though I would love to have like two shades darker. But oh well. 
But yo, look at this foundation. It literally melts into my skin. That's nice. Yeah, that's why people are saying, oh, if you want a glowy, very natural look, a very lightweight, summery foundation, this is the one. Now I believe it. This is the one. Oh my god. This kind of gives me the Essie Lauder Double Wear Nude kind of wipe. But it's not as runny as that one. Because the problem I have with Double Wear Nude is that I think it's a little too runny. So I don't really get a, even a medium coverage using that foundation. Literally, I'm only using that foundation when I'm literally don't do any type of, you know, makeup. you wearing a lip balm. Because if I just do a lipstick or something like that, I feel like my foundation is too light coverage. But this one though... This one is beautiful. It's like the perfect glowy but medium coverage foundation. Wow, look at this. And it really just melts into the skin. It looks really nice. So yeah, I like this foundation. I cannot wait to use it in a future Get Ready With Me. All right, speaking of a lightweight, beautiful finish, I also got a tinted moisturizer from Laura Mercier. So this one is their um, tinted moisturizer illuminating natural skin perfector with brow spectrum SPF 30. I saw some YouTubers review about it. They like it. It looks really beautiful on camera when they wear it. So I'm like, let me try it. I got the shade Natural Radiance. The reason why I got this particular tinted moisturizer is because of the radiance, you know, it claimed to have. So here is the tinted moisturizer looks like. I like this packaging. Let's see. Oh, this one you twist it up and let me put on my wrist here, right here. Wow, this is super lightweight. Wow, this is literally, if you want to go to a grocery store, but you want a little bit something something, this is the one. It's so lightweight, and you have a sheen. See that? And I like this color. This color is perfect for me right now, because it's a little more tan. So yeah, I'm totally going to use this one. Maybe like in a everyday, get ready with me. What do you guys think? Kind of want to do like an updated everyday get ready with me because I haven't done one in a while and now it's summertime. So I kind of want to update you guys on my, you know, routine. So yeah, I might use this in my new routine because it's beautiful. Like, look at that. It's amazing. I love this tinted moisturizer. All right, since we're talking about glowing skin, I actually got another glow booster. So this one I got is from NARS. It's the NARS Tinted Glow Booster. So this is the packaging looks like. It looks so cute. And I am in the shade Light Calvoya. I hope I said it correctly. Honestly, as soon as I saw NARS launching this one, I already added to my shopping cart. I'm just waiting for the discount to get it. So here is what it looks like. It kind of reminds me of a NARS foundation. It looks really nice. I love the gloss packaging. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like, you know, Koji and Do can take notes. This one is twice the money as this one, but packaging-wise, this is so much better. So, yeah has a pump it's just like a you know foundation but this one is a tinted glow booster so here this is what it looks like it's kind of like a yellow gold i would say i like this color i feel like this color specifically i would mix it with a darker foundation because you know with a darker foundation i don't really need to make the color darker i just need to let it glow a little bit so i think this can mix really well with like a foundation that's already my shade. I love the texture as well. It's not shimmery, it's not glittery, which is amazing. So that way you won't feel like you have a lot of shimmer in your face. It's more of like a natural glow within kind of a look. So yeah, I really love this color. But if you already have a lot of, you know, winter color foundation that are lighter, I recommend you get this Marc Jacobs Dewdrops. This is in the shade Fantasy. 
this is what I'm wearing on my face today. I mix this in with my MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation. Those two together, this is what I'm wearing. Oh my goodness, I love it. This foundation is so, so nice. This is probably my favorite liquid foundation from MAC. It's a very liquid texture. It's very natural. It's very thin because you can also use on your body. So this is another one that's like a great everyday type of um, foundation. Then I'm mixing the dew drops. This one, let me show you the color. By the way, I love the packaging. I might get another one because I don't want to run out of it. See how much darker it is. But look at the color. It's that beautiful kind of like a bronzing gold color. But again, this one doesn't have any shimmer or glitter either. So it's totally just like a skin-like finish, which I love. And honestly, I might like the Marc Jacobs Dewdrop better because I love the texture of this one better. This one kind of have like a gel texture, but the NARS one is more of like a runny texture. I find runny texture sometimes don't mix well with a runny foundation. Like for example, this foundation is runny, so I don't even know how this color would mix with this foundation. But this one, oh my gosh, this one and this mix like a dream so yeah if you haven't heard about dew drops i highly recommend you guys check it out all right moving on the next item i got is a primer this one is also a very hyped up primer and i think it's perfect for the summer so i got the smashbox photo finish oil and a shine control primer so this is what it looks like i really love the packaging of this one it's just like the standard, you know, Smashbox photo finish primer that's very easy to travel with, very easy to just store. I just love this packaging. And in the back, it says that this one is for combination to oily skin, which is my skin type. And it says that this transformative cloud-like primer gently absorbs oil all day while reducing the look of pores. So it has a time-release technology, controls oil and shine for up to 12 hours. It is infused with witch hazel, salicylic acid, and a zinc. It's a weightless gel with a soft focus, silky smooth finish. It's oil-free and non-greasy. So yeah, just upon reading all the ingredients, I already have a great feeling about this primer because with the oil control primer, I would love to have some kind of acne control or blackhead control property into it. So my current favorite primer, which is also the primer I'm using on my face today, is the Cover FX Mattifying Primer with Acne Treatment. So this is a primer I am you know, wearing on my face right now absolutely love this primer it's so easy to use glides on doesn't you know have a problem with any foundation i have ever used so far and the texture is super lightweight and on top of that it has acne treatment so it really helps me to combat acne when i'm actually wearing makeup so how amazing is that that's why I love this one and I'm almost out of this one. That's why I want to try this one just to see if this one is an even better option. So here, this is what it looks like. It's just like a standard packaging. I love it. And it claims to, you know, last for 12 hours, which I think is really good. So let's try it. Just see the texture. So here, I'm just going to... Okay. Okay. This is what the texture looks like. It's mm, doesn't have a scent, so that is amazing. And this is what it looks like. Wow, that's really good. It literally melts into my hand. That is amazing. I love it. I think this is really good. Wow. So let me put a little bit of the Cover FX on here so you guys can see. So ah, that's a lot. So this is a Cover FX one. As you can see, it's also like a clear texture. And this one is a little bit stickier than the Smashbox one, but I still like it. I just feel like it's like great for, you know, hold on to your makeup. I feel like if you want a long lasting primer, they got to be a little bit sticky. So this is what the texture looks like. And this one blends into the skin really well as well. I really love it. And it doesn't have a scent either so yeah that's amazing so i cannot wait to use this one to see if this one is a dupe for the cover fx mattifying primer 
So yeah, this is the next item I got from the Sephora sale. All right, moving on. Since we're talking about a luminous, glowy skin, how can we not talk about powder? After all, powder plays a vital role in how our complexion looks. So I have two powders I got from Sephora. They're both luminous powders. So the first one I got is from Laura Mercier. It's the translucent loose setting powder glow. So this is what it looks like. I got a smaller size because I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it or not. So yeah, let's open her up. Here, this is a powder. It's really a small size. Kind of the same size as my uh, Laura Mercier brightening powder. By the way, I love that powder. I'll put a picture here. So let's see this powder. You know what, I feel like this year, glowing kind of powder are really popular. I don't know if it's because Jaclyn Hill's like holiday release, she got all the highlighters, especially one of them, I think it's Mood Light, are definitely the kind of complexion powder. By the way, have you guys tried that one? I was thinking about purchasing it, but right now she doesn't have a sale on them, so I'm like, I'm not like paying like full price for anything right now. So I guess I'll wait. But let's see this powder. So I'm gonna just dab some on the cap. So this is what it looks like. And let me just, wow. This is definitely a glowing powder. Wow. You know what? I think this is the same kind of concept as Jaclyn Hill's Moonlight powder. Look at that. It's amazing, I love this powder. It's very glowy, look at that. Okay, I'm officially hooked. I think this is a great powder. It's very, very glowy. Ooh, I love it. it has a little bit yellow sheen to it, if you guys can see it. But yeah, I love this powder. It's beautiful and it's very finely milled. Wow. I'm definitely going to use it like soon because this is beautiful. I know that I'm gonna like love it. And I'm probably gonna use it both to set my face but also as a highlight. I think it's gonna be really cool. So yeah, this is a Laura Mercier translucent glow setting powder. All right, moving on. The second powder I got is from Hourglass. So it's like a high-end powder. I've been eyeing this powder for a while now because I used to have this powder in one of the holiday palettes, but I don't know. I just don't really reach for those holiday palettes. I love to use specific product. Like if I want to have a you know setting powder, I'll reach for a setting powder instead of like a palette. So I'm just like, let me just buy an individual setting powder during the sale. So I got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Diffuse Light. I got the big size because I just feel like it's cheaper per ounce. So let's open her up. I love Hourglass. This is what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Love the packaging. So once you open it up, here is the powder. I love this color. It's like a translucent with a pearly sheen to it. It's like my type of setting powder color so let me swatch it for you guys Ooh, the powder is so finely milled see that then mm, look at this i really love this powder i think this powder is so beautiful and it's very lightweight i think this is perfect for summertime you want to set your face but you don't want like a matte finish you don't want like baking but you want to you know just Gave your face an overall glow and set up this powder. I definitely need to do an updated get ready with me everyday makeup routine because yeah, I will have a lot of new products in that video. So definitely stay tuned. All right, lastly, I have another kind of like a face powder slash highlight. And this one is from Kevin so it's the celestial powder in the shade starlight so this is the packaging looks like and i love kevin Kwan's products they are so expensive but they're so good i have used their contour powder in the shade medium 
oh my god so good i'll put a picture here so this one is their starlight celestial powder so here this is what the powder looks like i like this shade i think it's cute so let me swatch it it's kind of like a i don't know how to say it like a pinky undertone it's right here I really like it. I think it's really beautiful. It's that very subtle glow within type of a look, which is so trendy right now. And it's what I'm going for for this summer. I just want it to be very natural, glowy, and just effortless chic. So yeah, I love this color Starlight already. Like, look at that. Just look at that powder. How beautiful. So yeah, this is the last powder I got from the Sephora Way I Be haul. Alright, that's it. That's all the items I got from my Sephora Way I Be sale so far. I still have packages coming my way. So definitely subscribe and turn on the notification. So that way you will receive notice when I post my part 2 or maybe even a part 3. Because I went a little ham on this haul. I'm just... I'm kind of bored out of my mind. I just don't know what else I can do. I just feel like you can only watch so many movies or so many TV shows before you just completely run out of stuff to do. So whenever there's a sale, I'm just like, okay, shopping definitely keeps me distracted from what's going on. So let me just, you know, buy a bunch of stuff and also share with you guys. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for our part two or maybe a part three. And yeah, that's it. This is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.